Hello viewers, I'm Wamkota Dokas, doctoral candidate in curriculum and instruction at Kibabi University in Bungoma County, Kenya. I wish to present an article that was published in the International Journal of Science and Research in the month of December 2019, entitled Domain-Specific Beliefs of Biology Teachers about the Subject on the Integration of Technology in Instruction in Secondary Schools in Kenya. It will be covered under the following subtopics, Introduction, the Problem, Purpose of the Study, Objective of the Study, Methodology, Findings and Discussion, Conclusion and Recommendations. Welcome. The Kenya Vision 2030 is a development blueprint formulated in 2007 to create a high quality of life by the year 2030. Science, technology and innovation form part of the six foundations of the Vision 2030. More resources will be set to raise the quality of teaching of mathematics, science-oriented and technological subjects in schools, polytechnics and universities. Information and communication technology in, is key in Kenya's education delivery and industrialization. The Kenya Education Ministry Sessional Paper No. 1 of 2005 provides a policy for education, training and research. It highlights the key role of ICT in Kenya's economic development. Education is to be the platform for equipping the Kenya, Kenya with ICT skills. ICT is to be integrated into school curriculum. The role played by beliefs held by teachers on the nature of their subjects and the way the subject should be taught is important because these beliefs influence the teacher's instructional practices. A study carried out in Germany by Vought and Neuhaus 2005 on biology teachers' beliefs classified the teachers of biology into three groups depending on their biology-specific educational beliefs as follows. One, pedagogical, innovative. Two, scientific, innovative. Three, scientific, conventional. The problem. National examination results show secondary school students score very low in sciences. Very low performance in biology over time has drawn increased attention. Teaching methods are considered key in low academic achievement in biology, among other factors. Learner-centered methods are important for active learner participation. Biology is key in enabling learners to get skills, knowledge, and attitudes for environmental conservation. It prepares doctors, technologists, environmentalists, and genetic engineers and other professionals. There is need to integrate technology in classroom instruction to enable learners develop the pertinent knowledge, skills, and competency for further training. The main problem is many teachers do not prioritize the technology used in classroom instruction. It's against this background that this study sought to investigate if the beliefs of, uh, of teachers of biology about the nature of the subject and how it should be taught play a role in the overall integration of ICT in the classroom instruction in secondary schools in Kenya. The purpose of the study was to investigate the domain-specific beliefs held by the teachers of biology about the nature of the subject and how it should be taught and the effect of these beliefs on the integration of ICT in biology instruction in secondary schools in Kenya. The objective of the study was to identify the distribution of the teachers of biology in the three belief categories of pedagogical innovative, scientific innovative, and scientific conventional. The descriptive survey was used in the study. Seventy teachers participated in the study, which constitutes 20% of the total number of biology teachers in the county. Data was gathered through biology teachers questionnaire and an observation checklist. Results and discussion. The objective of the study was to identify the distribution of biology teachers in the three belief categories of pedagogical innovative, scientific innovative, and scientific conventional types. The biology teachers were required to indicate the belief category that underpinned their understanding about the nature of biology and how it should be taught. 
These belief categories that are specific to biology teachers were adopted from Newhouse and Vought, 2005. The following statements correspond to the three belief categories. One, biology is a dynamic social science that deals with the study of living things, plants, animals, and microorganisms. Biology emphasizes the social aspect of learning. This statement is in line with the first belief category of pedagogical innovative. Two, biology is a body of facts about plants, animals, and microorganisms that can be proven through laboratory activities. This statement is in line with the second belief category of scientific innovative. Number three, biology is a static unified body of knowledge and facts. It is an accumulation of facts and rules about animals, plants, and microorganisms which need to be learned. This belief is in line with the scientific conventional category. The three belief categories are important in determining whether the biology teacher may embrace new technologies in the instruction and learning process or not. The results show that out of the 70 teachers of biology who participated in the study, 30% subscribed to the pedagogical innovative, 57.1% to the scientific innovative, and 12.9% to the scientific conventional. The responses indicate that most of the teachers of biology subscribe to the scientific innovation, innovative category. The teachers belonging to this category suppose that teaching authentic knowledge and laboratory activities is more significant, whereas social attributes of learning is an issue of inferior importance. These teachers believe that facts can be proved or disapproved through experimentation. Hence, teaching is an avenue for discovery of new knowledge through experimentation that can be used to falsify or prove the existence of certain phenomena. The teachers in the pedagogical innovative group stress the social attributes of learning and instructing in biology. They also believe that links to daily life is key in biology classes and that teaching fundamental facts is less critical for them. They enjoyed trying out innovative things in class. There is therefore continuous interaction between the learner, the teacher, and the classroom environment. The teacher adopts the responsibility of a facilitator as the learner constructs knowledge from the environment, hence dynamism in the learning of biology. Teachers belonging to this category are willing to modify approaches and resources in the instructing and learning process. They are open to change and can incorporate new resources in the instruction and learning process. They are more receptive to the new technologies and impress the emerging issues positively. The least subscribed belief is the scientific conventional. These teachers stress the importance of teaching biological facts. They focus on teaching factual knowledge. For these teachers, Neither research nor linking to daily life are essential for teaching biology. They assume the role of an instructor, making the process teacher-centered, rendering the learner a passive knowledge recipient. Such an approach leads to low retention of knowledge as the learner's involvement is minimal. Teachers with this belief are less eager to try new methods and topics. It is evident from the findings that these teachers rarely integrate ICT in their teaching. Their frequency of technology use is very minimal. Conclusion. Arising from the study, the distribution of the respondents in the three belief categories indicates that most of the teachers of biology subscribe to the scientific innovative category, that is at 57.1%, followed by pedagogical innovative category at 30.0%, while the least subscribed to the scientific conventional at 12.9%. This is according to Niehaus and Vought, 2005. The study established that there is a significant relationship between the teachers who belong to the three domain-specific belief categories to the integration of technology. The belief category, therefore, influenced the frequency of usage of technology. Recommendations. Basing on the three belief categories, effective teaching and learning can be best achieved with adoption of the different ways of teaching emphasized in the three categories identified. 
these are pedagogical innovative, scientific innovative, and scientific conventional towards improved teaching and learning. The study recommends integration of the practices attributed to each category for effective teaching and learning in biology in secondary schools. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.